Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, we're going to be looking at and reviewing, as part of our Walmart Clean series, Barrett Jackson's Premium Auto Care Wash and Wax. This car soap I've never used before. In fact, it even says that it's new on here. I went to Walmart one final time to see if there were any car soaps that I had missed or overlooked, and this was one of them. This one pretty much reads like all the others. It's the dilution ratio is one ounce per gallon of water. So what we're going to be doing is the same as we've done in all of our other tests. We're going to be using our MTM submachine gun style foam gun. We'll be using two ounces of our car soap and 10 ounces of warm water. Then we'll switch to our bucket test and use three ounces of our car soap to the bucket of water and see what kind of foamage we get and the performance we get in a hand wash. Again, besides the dilution ratio, it also says that, you know, this is safe for all finishes. It's a premium car wash, blah, blah, blah. I've never used this. Um, I'm going to find out exactly how it does with you guys, and hopefully it's going to do really good. So enough talking. Let's go outside and get this test started. All right, I've got two ounces of our Barrett Jackson car soap, 10 ounces of warm water. Let's see how this foams. All right, one thing I initially noticed on the foam is how thick it comes out of the gun. It has a, I would say, a very small to medium foam structure. There is a slight bit of lubrication that I do feel in the foam itself, but it's showing signs of being extremely runny already. The other thing that you notice is that this foam has a very intense berry flavor. Well, berry scent, I should say, not flavor, but... Yeah, there's a slight bit of a breeze, but it's so intense that even though the wind's blowing it away from me, I'm still smelling it. So we're going to let this sit about six minutes, come back and see how much of the foam that we've applied to the car is actually still here. Here we are six minutes later and probably 85% of the side of the car, the horizontal surface, or the, I'm sorry, the vertical surface on the sun side is almost completely gone. 
it does still have probably 80% left on the top and eh, 75 80% left on the hood. Yeah, this stuff gets pretty runny even on the shade side it's about the same so I don't think the sun has that much to do with it okay so next I'm going to go ahead and wash this off now one of the things that this soap this car soap says that it you don't need to dry the car it will sheet the water off so let's go ahead and pressure wash this off and see what happens I want to show you guys something. The last video I tested the Rain X with the Carnuba beads, and I'm hoping the camera can pick this up. You can still, I showed this in the video last time, you can still see where the um, that junk got, well, it got embedded, but it, even if I'm bringing my hands across it, whatever those beads are, Whatever that chemical, it says it's supposed to be carnauba wax, it is leaving a residue that's still on there. All right, so, um, on the bottle it says that it is a sheeting action and that you don't even need to dry the car. And well, I'm sorry, that is proven to be false. All right, there's still some really, really good beading. It does not appear to do anything to our sealant protection. I'm using, I have the Adams paint sealant on here. That company says it's good for six months. I typically get almost two years out of it, even sitting out here where we get a pretty good amount of acid rain. And the sun here is brutal to car paint, but all those things will degrade wax or sealant. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, I will not ever use the Rain-X with the Carnuba beads. As I said before, that's kind of a misnomer. You can't mix wax. Same thing with this one. You can't mix wax and, and a car soap and think that it's going to do anything. It's, it's a gimmick. But anyway, it appears to have washed or rinsed off nice and clean. It didn't leave any residue. And... Uh, you know, what can I say? I think as far as a foam, a pre-wash, if that's what you're really looking for, you would do and serve yourself well to use something else. I don't think this is a very good pre-wash. Uh, it doesn't sit on the surface long enough. I mean, six minutes, it needs to be minimum, have a 50, 50 to 70% retention rate. And that's just not, as you saw before, that's just not happening. So, but let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and get our bucket set up and we'll see how this performs in a hand wash. I'm hopeful because there's a pretty good amount of lubrication that was actually in the foam, so I'm hoping that the bucket wash will have some good lubrication in the water. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the bucket portion of our test with our Barrett Jackson wash and wax. 
The first thing you'll notice is that the the car soap is very viscous, means it's very thick. It has a very, very intense berry scent to it. So we're going to go ahead and put three ounces in our bucket. Okay, the, the soap is so viscous that it pretty much sits on the bottom initially. And there is a mild bit of slickness even before we've uh, agitated the mixture here, which is a good thing. Um, and you can smell the you can smell the scent. So if you're into car soaps that have a really good scent to them, you probably will enjoy this one. Let me get the pressure washer and we'll agitate this. Okay, so initially what I see is it makes a very nice stable foam and again you can smell the berry scent in here and the foam does have lubrication which is it's pretty good for a value price shampoo the water itself has a lot of lubrication it is very very oily feeling if that makes sense which is really good this will uh, protect your car when you're actually washing it when you're actually touching it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use four or five wash mitts and I have to explain this every time the reason I don't use the two bucket method is because once I do a, a section of the car I'll flip the mitt over to another section and then I'll discard that mitt to be washed in the washing machine and I'll get a fresh mitt and that way we will never take a dirty mitt and put it back in the wash water. Even if you take a rinse bucket with a grit guard, you can't get all the, the dirt and the grit out. It's impossible. Okay, part of the reason that it has such a long nap on it is to hold the grit in there, and that's how you get scratches and swirls in your paint. So, this water will stay pristine clean, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this cleans right now. So here we are with my final thoughts. Um, you guys probably saw me do something that I haven't done in any of the other videos and that was using the leaf blower to blow the water off. And the reason was is because on the back of this bottle it says that it will um, rinse water sheets off so no, drying towel, no towel drying needed. Well that didn't really happen and I was trying to help it a little bit. 
Um, but I gotta tell you, as far as a pre-wash, as a foam, I'm gonna say this is, this is just middle of the road, okay? This soap is no better than much of the middle of the road ones. But, but, as, as a hand wash, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm really happy that I can say this. This stuff is awesome. It's unfortunate that you can't feel what I'm feeling on the car when I'm doing these tests. The amount of slickness that was suspended in the water, in the wash water, was unbelievable. Um, it's almost like somebody had added some Chemical Guys Wonder Wash in there. It just, the mitt glided over, it produced a lot of suds, you guys saw that. This stuff in a hand wash is really, really, really good. I'm going to say, I'm not going to tell you what my favorite soap is. The next video that I, that I do, because this is the last car soap that we had to do in our series, the next video, I'm going to rank the 12 soaps that I've done. So what I need you guys to do is figure out which are the top, which are the worst soaps. Just put that down in the comments box. But I'm going to tell you something. I am going to put a link to this if I can find it on Amazon to where if you guys aren't near Walmart you can get that if you're a prime member you can probably get it for free this stuff is going on my shelf I like it that much um, I really really do and I'm I really wanted this whole series I wanted all these soaps to do really well to be honest most of them just kind of blended in with each other some of them are different colors some of them are different scents this dude is like the little guy that comes out of the corner and knocks out the guy that is the bully. Not that any of the soaps are the bully, but I'm telling you, this, I'm very impressed. In fact, I was so impressed that after this video, or after I washed the car, I washed the Jetta with it too. So, I'm not going to make this video any longer. Uh, please, down in the description box, um, or the reply box, go ahead and tell me what you think the number one soap is, all the way down to number 12. And, you know, maybe the... The top soaps, the middle soaps, and then the, the, the worst soaps that you think from watching the videos. If you need to go back and look at them, go ahead and go back and look at them. The next video is going to be on my final thoughts, what the top ones are, and what the uh, ones that, well, are going to be relinquished to washing the grass off the bottom of the mower. Anyway, this is Russell, and I will see you guys in the next video.